this is Austin Wilson and I'll be going over how to set up a assisted or personalized install file maker. First we're going to be starting off with the Windows version. So we pull it up here. I've got a Windows machine set up and I'm already on the um, electronic software download page. You can get to this using your license key but this is how we'll start off the process. You're going to want to download the license certificate as well as the version of uh, FileMaker that you want to be given as a download to whichever users it's distributed to. So for instance, here I'm gonna choose Windows for FileMaker Pro 2024. I've already gone ahead and downloaded that. So let's go take a look at that. So here we go, we've got the cert and we've got the executable. We'll start by just running this. The idea is that we're going to generate the actual software package, the files that are used to make the installation first. And then once we get to the choose setup language option, we can go hit cancel. So that'll leave us with the FileMaker Pro uh, 21 file set here. So what we'll do next is we can go into files and this is what's di dictated by the installation guide that I put in the article as well. Is that right here, we can see this is the folder with the MSI file we want to handle. So what we'll do is we'll grab our license cert, and then uh, actually the first step is bringing this over to the networked location. So I've made a fake folder here. Uh, imagine we had an extra drive that's networked, and then we can get that networked and mount it to different people's machines to give this file access to. You want to actually copy these over. Same thing with the cert. So let's say that now we're in our network location. Um, we want to take our cert, we want to give it to the place where the files are actually stored. That's going to be here where we see this MSI file is located. So also in this location, we can see the assisted install file that I, I talked a little about in my article. This is useful for setting up the different settings that the installation is actually going to run with. So usually we'll see um, changing zero to one here. So you can just edit that. You can do a couple other settings like skip dialogue set to one, um, launch custom app, setting it to a host that you want it to launch or have as a, as a host uh, built into it for it to open automatically. But you can just leave it at that for now. Um, you can save this file and it will update your settings for when you actually run the installation. So the idea is that you can run the setup.exe shortcut and now it's going to start the installation off using those files back to where we canceled, which is true setup language. You'll go through a couple of these dialog options and that will install FileMaker 21 or whatever version you want to install on. So the last step, like I said, is this would be on a network drive and then you could just mount that or you know attach the network drive to different Windows machines for different users and they would be able to go in here and either run this or you can set up something to run the setup exe for you to get this installed on different users machines. Welcome to the Mac section about getting a customized package installer for FileMaker Pro. So I'm essentially going along with the guide provided by Claris that I have in my article, but I have a couple extra notes about it to, to talk about. So first, I've kind of already done steps one and four here. You want to go to your electronic software download page and you want to get the version of FileMaker Pro you want, as well as your license cert. You see that's the two files we have here. So we can start going along through it and we're going to want to run the DMG. That will open a window here and you may see it as a little smaller like this, but we're going to want to extend the size of the window and we're going to want to grab the FileMaker Pro app, the license agreement folder, and the assisted install. We will not need extras. And we can go ahead and just close the DMG. Wait for that to finish copying. And then that would put us on step four where we get the license certificate, but I already got that downloaded, downloaded here. And then the next step would be talking a little bit about the personalization file, which is this assisted install.txt file. So you can take a quick look at it, see it's kind of just zeroed out here on all the different settings. I talk a little bit about this, but you can change some basic settings. You can just update license accepted, so it'll auto accept the license as well as there's the choice for custom app, which is the initial app opened when you open FileMaker Pro. So you can connect that to a host and it will try to connect to that host right when you open the FileMaker Pro application. Another one is skip dialog, but that's not actually included with the packet installed here. And I'll show you what I mean when we go to a next step. 
So for now, we can just save these changes, for instance, and close that. We've got everything set up now. So we would go ahead and download this that I've already done. Let's extract that now. And we're gonna get a script here. So this is a big thing that I try to talk about in my article is that you can see here, it's what it start when you, when you open it up and whatever text editor you have. And you'd see here down at line 69, there's the create post install script. This is actually building out the commands to kind of utilize that personalization file, the assist install.txt file. And right now you can see that license accepted and launch custom app are the two ones it's actually grabbing from that file and actually updating your package installer for. So if you want to get any additional personalization options, you would have to actually script that in yourself here and make updates to allow for different personalizations, basically. So now that we have this, uh, we're gonna go to the terminal now. So I've already got it set it up here. You want to navigate to the current working folder in. I've already done that. And then we're gonna run a couple commands that it asked for. First is going to be updating the permissions. And after that, we're gonna actually run it. Great. So it's building out right now. And you can see it created that FileMaker Pro ARD package file. That's actually what we're gonna be running and that's what can actually be given to different users to make this all work. Give it another second here. And then once we've actually finished this up, this is the package. You can copy this and send this to users and they can just run this as is. A couple things of note are when trying to run this on different computers, you can run into Mac privacy or permissions issues about running an unidentified application. So you may have to do a little bit of troubleshooting to make sure that this is actually runnable on everyone's devices. Sometimes you have to force to allow it through Mac settings or even sometimes have to run uh, commands through the, the terminal to basically say that this is an application I'd like to run. But if you start up the application, uh, it's gonna start up the installer window and you'll just continue through this as normal and I'll have this couple personalization tech settings that you set and maybe more depending on if you work to build that out, like I said. Great, thank you. So if you have any questions, you can either comment or reach out to DB Services and we can help you work through this a little bit, or if you have any other thing related to FileMaker, we can always talk about it. Thanks.